So for this video, we're going to take a second to review everything that's going to be on your quiz next class. So we've looked at our congruence theorems, and we've looked at side, 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 angle, side, angle, side, angle, and angle, angle, side. So you've got to know all four of those. Okay, so for this example, we want to figure out if we can tell if they're congruent, and if so, how we can tell. So remember, anytime you're working with these triangles, you go with what's given to you, as well as the stuff that's not necessarily labeled, but we know is true. So for the first example, I can see right off the bat that I have vertical angles. So I can go ahead and label those. And then I have two sides that are congruent in each triangle. This angle touches both of my sides, so this would make it side angle side. So these are congruent by side angle side. The same situation is happening in the bottom triangle, side, angle, side. Make sure that they line up. Okay, you don't want just two sides at an angle because you remember angle, side, side doesn't work. And they have to be the same pattern each triangle. For the second one, the other thing you have to look for is whenever they share a side. So this AC is in both triangles, so that means it's going to be congruent to itself. Now that we label that, I have all three sides congruent in each triangle, which makes them congruent by side, side, side. And then for this one, I have two angles that are congruent, two sides that are congruent, and two other angles that are congruent. And that side is in the middle and touching both angles, so that makes it an included side. So that's going to give us congruency by angle, side, angle. The other type of question you will see is to, you're going to be given the congruence theorem that you want it to be congruent by. So in this case, we've got angle, angle, side. And we've gotten this triangle here, these two triangles. And I need to figure out what else it needs to be congruent by angle, angle, side, as well as go ahead and write my congruent statement. So right off the bat, I see vertical angles. So I know that the vertical angles are congruent. And so I've got a side and an angle, and this angle is not touching the side. So that means that I need an angle that's going to be between the angle and side. All right, so that means I've got to touch this side here, so I have two options. It could be angle A or angle B. So I'm going to go with angle A. So I need this one to be congruent in both triangles, which if I imagine this triangle over here, that would be angle E. So I'm going to say that angle A should be congruent to angle E. And then I need to write my congruent statement. So I'm going to say triangle, and I'll say ABC to start with. And now I have to line up the letters that match A, B, and C. So I know angle A is with angle E. So I went A, and then I went down the side with the one dash, and then over to my other angle. So if I started E and go down the side with the one dash and over, I would go to E, D, C. Make sure all of your letters match up, and you take the same path around each of your triangles.